Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome diesel pusher. Never ever, ever ever seen on the show before. This is a 2021 Forest River Berkshire XL Model 40D. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Berkshire XL and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video my name is matt from matt's rv reviews it's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to rvs and again today i am super excited that we are now branching out into other brands of rvs and we're taking a look at this awesome berkshire xl but before i begin i would like to say hi to andrea hey you're not andrea hey everyone you're will's wife jen from yes. the youtube channel will and jen yep. bing yeah, thanks so much for having me here. I'm excited to um, film a never before seen unit. Yes, and where are we today? We are at um, Grizzenny's uh, down in Fort Myers, Florida. Yes, big shout out to them. We don't work for them, but they let us record here today. Yes. And now we're bringing you some awesome units that have never before been seen on the show. So Jen, without further ado, let's begin. Model is Forest River Berkshire XL 40D. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 41 feet even. This sits on a custom Freightliner chassis raised rail with a Cummins ISL turbo diesel, 380 horsepower. Now something that's important there to know, there's the Berkshire lineup, the Berkshire XL lineup, and the Berkshire XLT. This is that nice middle point for Berkshire. And sorry guys, I'm gonna have a lot of sweat going on. Right under here, we do have a generator. It is a Cummins own in 8,000 diesel generator. And look at that nice big windshield with the, I, I kind of, I call them like bug looking uh -huh. mirrors right there. They look pretty cool. Like, like the little antennas. Yeah, like a little <laughs> grasshopper right there. Very nice headlight design. They're not going with the traditional aggressive look. Now you guys know I like the mean and aggressive, but it's different and that's what we like on the show. We like different. We don't like the whole cut and dry and everything. Coming on down the side here, we do have a nice door awning right there and a armless awning right there with wind sensors. You can see, look at the beautiful full body paint job. I love the swirls. And Jen, do you see the ghosting in the, in the paint? I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very That's nice. Cool. And then look at these tires, Jen. They're the Michelins. I love those. 275-80R22.5 with the shiny Alcoa rims. Coming on down the side here. Oh, you got your fuel fill up here. Keyless entry, very nice. And you can see Forest River, Berkshire Hathaway on a custom Freightliner chassis. It's gonna be an XCR chassis, raised rail. Right there, we got a little bit of storage. Not bad. Oh, lost, you lost, you lost, lost your flip flop shit. there. <laughs> Hashtag Florida life. <laughs> nice slide out tray there. The reason why you're able to get that slide out tray, because again, this is on a raised rail chassis. We do have TV on the outside here and it's locked. And listen guys, for the next few weeks when we're exploring with these different dealerships, we won't be able to have the slide outs open and closed or some of the stuff's gonna be locked. We're still building our relationships with them. So give us time, give yeah, us we'll time. we'll figure it out. Yeah, we're all figuring it out. <laughs> and then more storage right there. And more storage there. I love that. With these diesels, when you get that nice raised drill chassis, you know. So much storage. Yes. Then this is going to be where your water tank is. Here's some of your batteries. And for those of you who are new to the show, when we worked at Leo's Vacation Center, Jen started recording before Andrea. And you guys are wondering, where's Andrea? Uh, this was a last minute trip to Fort Myers that we had to make. And Andrea decided to get the kids a new cat. Bing! One of these leopard cats, <laughs> which was given to us by one of our YouTube subscribers. Thanks. Oh, she's so cute. She's cute, but Andrea couldn't leave the house. 
And so while we're in this transition, we appreciate Will, Patrick from Grzenis, and Jen for reporting. Yeah. Coming around the back. Oh, dang, Mavic. No ladder to get up on oh. the roof. But as you can see, it does have a nice fiberglass rear cap. It said Freightliner XDR chassis raised rail. And then right here, this does have a, I think it's a 15,000 pound hitch. It sure is. 15,000 pound hitch. In this motorhome, I don't even know if it can tell 15,000. You're good with over 10. Make sure you always, it doesn't matter what motorhome, and it doesn't matter what I say, always weigh your motorhome first and subtract the GVWR from the GCWR before you tell something very, very heavy. XCR, race rail. Right here, okay, this is your uh, hydraulic fluid for your leveling. 50 amp power cord here, okay, interesting with your uh, inverter right there. Now, Jen, remember this outside bay. Okay. A little later on in the show, we'll talk about it later. I might need some help remembering. Okay. <clears throat> Batteries right there. Here's where you fill up your DEF. And then we're gonna have our water bay right here. Okay, very nice, fancy. clean, organized. What was that? I said fancy. Yeah. A lot of controls going on. Right. All those little things. Outdoor shower. Place uh, black tank flush. DC potable water fill. Oh, there it is. Potable. Potable. Oh. Jen knows the lines, guys. <laughs> Here's the Dirt Devil vacuum. Other side of that awesome storage. Okay. There it is. Other side of the storage. And then right here. <clears throat> does have the aqua hot 250d hydronic water system and i did not see propane but all the specs of this motorhome bing are right there and so no propane means it's an all electric coach very nice well jen <laughs> the outside of this motorhome looks great but the inside looks even better let's go take a look After you, Jen. Ooh, nice and bright in here. Got a ceiling fan. Big bed, huge bathroom back here. Washer and dryer. Very nice. Now, Jen, before we show everybody the inside, we want to take a quick second to thank our sponsor campgroundviews.com. You guys have heard us talking about campgroundviews.com and what it is, it's the Google Earth, the Google Maps, 360 digital tours of campgrounds. Right now, they're partnered with recreation.gov to show you all of that stuff. And we have an interview with the owner, Mark, that we'll link up right there. We're unable to be bringing you units like this if it wasn't for campgroundviews.com and for everybody who joined us on Patreon for help supporting the show, 10 bucks a month for us to be completely independent. We appreciate everybody. And if you decide not to join or support our sponsors, you just watching, smashing that thumbs up button and commenting is all the motivation and help that we need. Thank you. Yeah. Jen. I just also think campground um, views is such a cool idea. Like if you stay in state and national parks. Yeah. I just thought it was pretty neat. Since you're the guest of the show, Jen, oh, we're going to have you sit up here. Oh. Nice, nice seat Ooh, area very, going on. Very comfortable. Right over here, we do have your um, auto leveling, yep. your connect. Mm -hmm. Wireless or a, charging. Yes, ma'am. Tell, tell us what you're seeing. Yeah, wireless charging, um, parking brake, nice big screen up here, and then you got another one. Yes. Um, you know, here facing the driver, which is nice. You kind of have like your little cockpit here. Exactly. Digital dash area. Right here, you're going to have your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You're going to be able to see your cameras. As Jen said, like a cockpit area, everything's in the push of your hand. And then if you push that note with, down with your foot on your left side, uh -huh. other side, left side. Oh, yep. You push that down, you're able to adjust oh, your steering wheel. That's nice. Power seat as well. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. And then right over here, I'm in my co-captain seat, right? Sitting here. Looks like, okay, we got a little thingy here for you to put a table in um, so you can have like a little work office. Right here, the stairwell is gonna close off and everything. And wow, 
cargo carrying capacity, 7,584 pounds. Really, really nice. That's what's nice about these diesels. You got some storage above there. There's your uh, power fans and your LG TV is there. Also, you can see that we have slow rise privacy shades and or daytime shades and privacy shades very nice and then coming along here in the living room before we do we do have a bunk over the cab that's kind of funky looking yeah we won't be able to drop it down right now but kind of funky looking um because of the shape oh they do that so you can put a ladder there. Oh, okay. Very nice. And I like how they, they did like the trim so it almost looks like it just blends into the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, for sure. These seats do swivel around to become part of the living area. And then into the living area, we, we got this. Um, We got lights. Oh man, super nice. Nice solid cabinetry. How do you like it, Jen? Um, I like it. I'm not, you know, a big fan of the darker brown, but I feel like you got enough light stuff in here that it balances out. Yes, and then the balances. Are the balances balances? The balances, I think, are balances. Okay, do you like, like them? Do you not like them? They're not bad. I don't hate them. They're not my favorite, but they but they don't like, they're not too annoying of like a pattern. Okay, perfect, perfect. Right here's our theater seats. Okay, you go Ooh. like that and you're kicking back and relaxing. And then you got your cup holders here. A remote holder there. A lot of storage. And then when you are ready to watch TV, too short. <laughs> Let me do it. You yeah. push that button there. And there it goes. She raised me up so I can watch the TV. Very nice big TV. Look at that, we got, while Jen's doing that, we got a sound bar right here and storage there. And storage there with your DVD player. Look at that, Jen, nice LG TV. Sit in that seat right there, that sofa as well. Is it comfortable? It is, yes. Yeah. All the seats in here, very comfortable. You got your uh, cup holders there. Also, you can see that you have your seat belts there and if you hold this, it looks like Okay, this is just gonna make a jackknife bed. Interesting, interesting. Very nice, but I love that. I love how the TV's up when you want it, down when you don't want it. And then right here's your dinette. This dinette drops down to make a bed. Very nice. Here's some of the, if you if you look on this, Jen. Oh yeah. You know, very nice. Um, so see, this is weird. It says 8,000 generator on this model but 10K on the 40F, so I bet you it might be a 10K. People would have, would have been able to tell from the specs. More storage above there, okay. 3,000 hours in transmission. Yeah, see, that's not right. This is the right, this is this just for Berkshire. Okay. This is a Berkshire XL, because it's, it's a 380 horsepower. Still, very, very nice. We'll have all the specs down below. That does drop down to make a bed and everything. Jen, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Am I sweating a little bit? Yeah, I am too. It's Fort Myers, baby. We are hot in here. You feel the temperature difference just driving down from Tampa. Yeah. MSRP on this mod of 40D XL here is $403,273 MSRP. Discount, they have it to 37 374 231 sale price. Now, Jen, we don't work for Grisenis, and we are very happy that they allowed us here. And so what we have, if you're interested in this unit, we have linked their website down below. Also call 239-275-4200. You can ask for our friend Patrick that was on the show two days ago, or ask for any of the salespeople here. They said as long as you say that you saw it on Match RV Reviews, they're gonna take care of you, and they're gonna make sure that you get fantastic price and service and everything. And we wouldn't be here without them. So big shout out to Grisani's. Jen, let's continue the video. Yeah. Show everybody the kitchen. All right, moving over to the kitchen. So we have an induction cooktop here, two burners. Okay. Um, and then down below we have a nice big drawer. Yes, ma'am. And is this a dishwasher? Holy wow. smokes. Very nice Very dishwasher. Nice, nice big dishwasher. 
Um, up above, we have a convection microwave. Yes, ma'am. Furion. Also a great size. And then coming over here, got some cabinets up above. Okay, okay. And then looks like we have. Tower hey, now. Power. That's a tower of power right there. <laughs> I like. like it's actually not as tall as some of them. You got two regular plugs and two USBs. So. Yes, I like the um the uh what what's this called? The uh, backsplash. The backsplash. Yeah, I like it actually. And how they added that window there, which is very nice. Yes, very nice. Um, and then you have, and I didn't mention nice solid surface countertops, of course. Big um big stainless steel sink. And look at what they're doing with that, like the the Aztec type of pyramid uh, so you know what it's probably for is is so that you can they might have like inserts where um because you know how you can put this stuff in the bottom of your sink to protect it from getting scratched oh. so there might be to, to lay it against that inset oh, okay. would be my thought your guess my guess yes um pull down faucet and then we have a little pull out thing here for your soap or your um sponges and then really wow that goes way back yes ma'am um Pretty hard to access back there, but for stuff you don't use a lot, I guess this is nope, nope. fake drawer. Yep. And then we have two drawers here, and then we even have a little. This is like the smallest fireplace I think I've ever seen. But at least it's a fireplace. Yeah. So many times when you're in this double sofa floor plane, you okay. don't get one at all. What's nice about that is that it's going to produce heat from electricity. Oh, yeah. And Jen, is that Art Deco? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we got storage up there. Okay. Uh, just a little bit also whisper quiet air conditioning system guys and then if you look down at the floor beautiful porcelain tile snapstone flooring very nice and then we have this huge residential refrigerator Look how big that is nice freezer down here very nice oh, and an ice maker mm, i love very it nice and okay so we have like a nice pull out pantry here hey jen what's that Oh, never mind. What? I thought the fridge name was Thin Q, but I think it means think. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Thin Q. <laughs> Thin Q. <laughs> what kind of name is that? Um, yeah, pull out pantry here. That's nice. And then, what's this? Override electric hatch. Do you know what that is? Uh, yes, I do. Woo! Very nice. Hey, that's a hundred four dog yeah. trash can. <laughs> uh, what, what that is, that's an electric latch, so it doesn't... Um, so a lot of times you got to push that button while the slide outs are in or no while the engines on you push that button To because if the engines on this this won't come out. Oh nice. Very nice. Yeah, and they even got this little cubby so you could put like your trash bag box there Yeah, for sure I'm sweating. Yeah, it is very hot Um, <laughs> we got this digital there. dash <laughs> Um bedroom reading ceiling light. Okay, we're making it work. I'm getting sweat in my eyes <laughs> oh, oh, to Jen Art Deco! That's closer, but no. <laughs> Is it still not? I actually thought that really was Art Deco. I don't feel like you really know what Art Deco is. <laughs> Do you know how many people send me books on what Art Deco is? <laughs> Trying to educate you. Very nice, solid surface countertops, little sink area, tight bathroom here, but no big deal. It is the half bath. Yeah. Let's see. Porcelain. I don't know. It's a 50-50. Like you have you have enough room this way. Yeah, but like, I feel like I'm a little grow. more narrow. Yeah, you can't spread as much. Uh, I'm not gonna give it to it. It it's it's right borderline. I know with this here with toilet paper oh. being on it, it's not gonna pass. Yeah. Um but it is a half bath, no big deal, guys. Nothing to stress about, nothing to worry about. No need to call Berkshire. <laughs> Into the bedroom. Now, this bedroom feels a little bit better with it having a ceiling fan. <laughs> yes. Uh, look at this. You know, yeah, Jen, you're definitely right. Definitely darker cabinetry. Yeah. Um, it, it looks different, and that's what we like, and that's what this show's all about. Uh, there's going to be people that are going to be watching this saying they hate this. There are going to be people saying they love this, and that's yeah. what it's all about. It's that variety. You got a safe there for all your money. All your money. Yep. A little window there. Uh, TV storage more storage more storage tons and tons of drawers right there for the dresser and then look at that very nice i like the headboard do you like the headboard it feels very like beauty and the beast to me okay okay <laughs> it feels a little like regal but it's, yes it's nice very regal deep 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 storage above there 
very hard to access, very hard to get to. And then you got your uh, headboard and storage there. And then, oh no. Oh. Tiny bit of storage, little to none right there. Yeah. Okay. And then finishing up into the bathroom, we do have a nice stackable washer and dryer. Very nice that it comes with this unit. This toilet looks like it's in a lot better position. We do have a radius shower though. Womp, womp, womp. Mm. I am not a fan of radius showers. And that's just how I feel. We got more storage there. And then Jen, you want to show us the sink and everything? Yeah, you got a one bowl sink here, decent amount of counter space. And then behind your mirror, have some more storage there. Yep. And then down here, we got storage that goes back a little bit. Very nice. And then right there a little bit. Right right there. Oh, here. Yeah. Yes. And a little bit more there. Okay, it's now time for the toilet test part two. Let's see if this one passes. Nice electric toilet. Still, the toilet um, paper holder placements. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I feel bad because they're both 50 fit. I mean, they both could have passed. They both could have failed. I feel bad failing this one and not passing that one. You know, I feel... I, if I owned this motorhome, I would move that, like, there. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? I just can't give it to them. Again, it's not, it's not failing, but you definitely need to move the toilet paper holder. It's a good B plus on rating. Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about the Berkshire and three things we dislike about it. Jen, what, what do we do first? Um, three things that we like. Okay. Three things that we like. First thing that I'm going to say, we didn't get to see it down, but the bunk over the cab. I like the way it looks. I like how it's hit up there, part of the storage. And I like this little slit. That's a really good idea for you to hook up the ladders and everything. That's a really smart design. And that's just something that I really, really like. Because then I guess it doesn't stick out as much into exactly, the living space. Exactly. That's number one. Number two. So I would say definitely these theater seats, these are very wide. Ah, okay. Very comfortable. Um, and I like that they're directly across from the TV there. Yes. Um, you have a lot of storage there and cup holders and it's just nice. I think for a little bit of a bigger person, it's not so like tight. Yeah, for sure. Really nice. That's number two. And then Jen, number three, you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say, I like how they put the induction cooktop there so you get a little bit more countertop space. I'm going to combo it. I love the Fisher Pickell dishwasher mm -hmm. and a unit like this is really nice. And then I like that fireplace right there. Uh, they made it work. It does look a little weird and it's smaller, but it's a uh, electric heater. So, and especially down here in Fort Myers, Florida, guys, that is something that you want <laughs> is an electric heater. Great. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about this motorhome. Boom, boom, boom. You ready for me to go first? Yeah. Carpet. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, way too much carpet. Not a fan of the carpet. Okay. I think they, believe it or not, I think this is one of the best floorings I've ever seen with this porcelain tile. I think the flooring looks fantastic. So the fact of that carpet is mm -hmm. just kind of throwing me all off there. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, dislike. So... I noticed this earlier. I'm not a fan of that. This is a um, yes. What is it? Yep, jackknife. Uh, jackknife. I think with I how totally much forgot. space you have here, it would have been really nice to have a trifold, and um, that way, you know, you just you, you can sleep one or two kids up there. Like an adult could sleep here. An adult size guest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, could sleep here. So, and it's it has a space for it. So that's that's definitely my dislike. Yeah, one hundred and ten thousand percent. That's number two, and then Jen number three is going to be in here. This is a huge motor home. It's 41 feet. Yes. Radius showers are unacceptable in my opinion. Um, just. And here's my thought, like. Radius shower, I just. Quit. Like, I feel like there's a lot of store, like, cause, yeah, cause I don't know if you showed. Like, oh, I didn't even look, show that. Look at how much hanging like dead closet space, space yeah. you have. And then over here where they couldn't made the shower go all the way to the wall. Yep. More, like, the, I don't the, think you need that. Yeah, much. you don't need that because you, know? you got that there. So even if you're full time, and I think that's, you got a plenty of closed storage out here. 
Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching. Uh, make sure everybody checks out mattsrvreviews.com. That's our website if you want to contact us. And we also have our link to our Patreon there and down below. Big shout out to Grizzenies in Fort Myers, Florida for letting us uh, show this coach. Uh, we have all their contact info and it's again, 239-275-4200. Uh, we couldn't be doing this without them, campgroundviews.com and everybody else who's supporting our mission to review. We're like Pokemon collectors. <laughs> we we want to review every type of motorhome out there. Jen, gotta catch them all. is there anything you want to say, especially um, about like your own channel? Yeah, so if you guys aren't already, um, Will and I have our own channel together where we document all of our travels. And so if you guys want to check that out, Matt's on it a lot, so you get to see him. Um, so we'll put um, a link down below to our channel. So if you want to subscribe, we put a video out every Sunday. And um, it's been really exciting um, to be able to film here at a new dealership, something that we haven't gotten to film before. So thanks for having me on the channel. Thank you so much. And thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Jen, we'll see you next time.